Yeah, this has been taped. You look beautiful, don't worry. Come close, yeah, yes. Margaret, you were sharing with me something, mm -hmm. okay? What had happened to you when you came last time? Well, um, it was in November of last year, and um, I was quite a distressed person. I didn't really feel like dancing at the time. And uh, what had happened was, um, after many months of an ear infection, which I thought was an ear infection, and going to doctors, um, had developed into something more serious. And my GP said, well, you must get to the specialist very quickly. So I did. Long story short, <clears throat> I should have been <laughs> three months before. Anyway, um, the appointment was for February, but I'm going to short circuit this. I got in after I'd spoken to them to make the appointment, two days after. So here I am sitting at the specialist, and he said, it's wonderful. Actually, I think I possibly should have started at the beginning when I came to you. Yeah. And I, I, I've got sort of, I've jumped, I've, done, I've jumped a few hurdles. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So start saying from where you want. Okay, well, okay, yes, I have jumped a few hurdles, but I can go back a bit. Um, I'm just explaining that this was a dilemma for the years. For how many years? The years. Years, yes, okay. right, yeah. Um, so, yes, by the time I got to see you, and it was just a, a miracle, really, because I hadn't planned to come, um, I had eczema on the face. I was completely deaf. I couldn't even hear my own voice. Um, it was really, I was quite distressed. I don't know if you remember it or not. You probably can't remember. But I had a friend, Leslie, who was an Indian gentleman that insisted that I come. And, uh, and that was the real, you know, very British way. So come on, I'm very busy. You see, my very busy. You know? Anyway, um, so I came to you and I told you I had the ear problem. And you said to me, evil spirit, get out of her ear. And I said, I thought, hmm, oh, that's interesting. So anyway, you walked around the room and you said, uh, you know, you asked me some questions and I could hear a tiny little bit. Just a tiny little bit. And, and, and you were completely deaf and you could not hear your own words. No, I couldn't hear my own voice. Oh, okay, I okay. couldn't hear anything. Now, now the ears opened up. Well, whatever you did. I, I, well, I know. With God's grace, okay, okay, yeah. Okay. You said that. And you, you walked around the room. You asked me my parents' um, names and so forth. And I could faintly hear. And it was such a blessing. So anyway, that's all right. Stayed there and went home. Went to the doctor the next day. Because this is all a company with specialists and doctors and and you know, the medical profession apart. This was great. This was the beginning of, an, I believe, an anointing. Okay. That's what I really believe. And for, from that moment on, I was able to get into a specialist within two days instead of a month or two months. I had been to Mass and I had given everything to our blessed mother on the 8th of December. So I had put, she was in charge as well. You know, I've got a great devotion to her. And, um, so everything just went like clockwork. So I'll come back now to the story. When the specialist saw my ear, he said, thank goodness we were able to get you in. This is very serious. But a fungus had developed into the ear. and was eating up my eardrum. Oh, that infection was eating up your eardrum? It was fungus. Okay. Yeah. Yes. He said, he said it's eating my eardrum. He said, thank goodness we were able to get you in. This is very serious. <laughs> So they put the eye in into my ears, and uh, that was two lots. So I went back the second, after the second treatment. He said, you're going to have to have an operation. We're going to have to get rid of this fungus first. I went back after the second treatment. And you know what he said? He's looking at me and he's saying, you must pray to the right God. You must be praying to the right God. You must be praying to the, the right the God. The doctor said. The specialist said. The specialist said. Mm -hmm. You must be praying to the right God. Yeah. Okay, why? Well, I just said to him, oh, I do, I pray. I, you know, I told him, you know, I pray. And he said, oh, didn't take any notice of me. Then he examined the other ear and said, well, you know, the, um, oh, that's, oh, yes, that's right. I forget about that one at the moment. So, um, it's after that, he said, come into, come into the, you know, another part of the, come into another office. And he said, oh, 
well, that's good news. He, you know, the fungus has gone from there. And I said, well, when would I need the operation? He said, you don't because it's been, there's no holes there. They're gone. And I said, the holes in the eardrums are gone. Yeah. And I the said, holes. Yeah. And I said to him, um, is this very common? Does this happen very often? And he said, rare if ever I have seen it. And I said, really? He said, hmm, that's why I said he prayed to the right God. So in his whole life, he has never seen those holes in the eardrum getting cleared. What he said, his words were, rare if ever I have seen it. That was his exact so, so it's not at all common? No. Well, so something that was damaged, very the spirit, very damaged, mm. the spirit of God recreated your eardrums and now you can hear absolutely clear. I can hear clear. <laughs> and, and it started with when you walked in, you could not hear your own voice. No, it did. No, that's right. Um, I still have a little bit of, uh, I hear it because I had an audio test and that showed this absolutely no, the ears are perfect, there's no holes as well. Um, I am deaf, and so um, there's, you know, fluid behind here, but I'm um, taking little drops and that, that, but I am getting better, like that is, that in time will get better as well. That's right. And then it developed in this year, but we got in that in, in, in this time. But my heart really, and I, Oh, I you know, it's on all the prayers, I thank God, and all that. That's embarrassing too. But um, I wanted to come today to thank you. I feel like, you know, the leather lady that came back to thank Jesus for, <laughs> for this wonderful miracle. Um, so I was so grateful, because it's a ghastly situation when you know that this thing can get into your brain and cause damage, and it was very, very serious. So I just really felt I had to come and Thank, thank you. Jesus. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. And you got a little bit of this as well. Oh, that's amazing. Um, what happened was, I had that for many, many years. How many years? Oh, look, honestly, if you'd be exaggerating if I told you, it was quite a long time. 90, 100, 110. 120. It doesn't matter. It was 130 long, years, it was 140. Long, it was a long time. But how many? Come on. Well, it would have been, it would have been over 10 years. That's all. Uh, yeah, but it I would thought have been, 110. No, but it would have, could have even been more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just uh, Okay, okay, I'm okay, okay, okay. I'm trying okay, not, to be, okay. I'm okay. not to be neurotic there. Okay, okay. <laughs> and, and did that try this? Could you walk around? Yeah, when well, I could, but it was getting worse. And I had a test done and all of this. But I think the thing is, what? Because I'm stubborn. Wow, give me a hand. God loves stubborn people. Oh, Good, I'm please come. Stubborn. Because we are violent. Yeah, we are violent no longer with the stubbornness doing God, the devil's kingdom. We are now stubborn in God's kingdom, well, holding on to the promise of God. Tell me more about stubbornness. Well, I always was, you know, prayerful. But I, was accept I actually was uh, willing to accept the pain. And in some ways, I thought, well, if this is my cross, it's redemptive suffering, okay? And I tried to do it, do it. Now, so when I went to the doctor and I got the prognosis of all of this and the test, blah, blah, and they said, you're just going to have to live with this. There's nothing we can do for you. So I went home and I had a chat to the good Lord. Next morning, I woke up and there was no pain. And the Lord healed you completely. Completely, no pain. And, and that was in about April. And I can, I can dance. We saw. <laughs> so there we Isn't are. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Come on, give it all a big hand. Hallelujah. I know. That, that's great. That's just a wonderful thing. But after that, it went into my ears. Okay. Now, that's let's, let's not it. talk about it. Let's kill it. Well, it's gone now. <laughs> I've been healed you, 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 you know, when she was sitting there, she said, I need to get this thing out of my ear. <laughs> now, as she's sharing a testimony, she's saying, I said, let's pray. She said, it's gone. Yeah. When you share your testimony, that's the time Jesus said to the woman with the issue of blood. When she shared a testimony, she got healed. She felt she was healed. But she did, the healing was not complete. But when Jesus said, who touched me? And she told the whole truth. Then Jesus said, your faith has made you whole. He never said your faith has healed you. If he had to say faith has healed you, she would have got healing only in the body. But when he said whole, 
includes the whole package. So many times people have a shyness about telling their testimony. You know what is that called? Shyness is pride. That pride gives you different kind of thoughts that will destroy what God wants to do you. The more you go and share your testimony of God's glory, the more and more you are being made whole and we did not even pray. She just stood here and shared her testimony. What happened? Total freedom. Hallelujah. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. There are some Bibles here. Now, 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 listen. Those who do not have a personal copy, okay, there are Bibles here where a child of God has worked hard, earned dollars, and converted those dollars into Bibles, and he wants to give it to you free. But before you walk up and pick up that Bible and you're saying, God, I thank you for this gift. You've got to make a commitment. I will not keep it as a paper weight, but I'm going to, weigh, but I'm going to use it against every weight and get that weight out of my life. Because if you're going to pick up that Bible and say, hey, it's free. No, 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 no. Before you pick up that Bible, you make a commitment to God that, Lord, this Bible, I'm going to use it day and night and destroy every weight that has been stressing me with this Bible by studying the Bible. It's free. During the break, you can come and pick it up. No problem. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Listen, in 10 minutes, we'll have a break. Is that right? 4.30? When we come back, we start with a healing session. Is that okay? Yes. So what time are we coming back? What time are we coming back? Seven. Seven. Listen, when we come back, we are coming back receiving the body and blood of Jesus. And then we will have the anointing session. Is that okay? Okay? Yes. Because when you hear testimonies, there was one more lady who wanted to share a testimony. Where is she gone? Come here, come here. Come fast. And, and uh, that her name is Margaret. Uh, yeah. Just come. Yeah. What's your name? Elsie. Elsie. So, Elsie, what was your problem? Um, I had a really bad neck pain for a couple of years. Talk to them far, uh, loudly. For a couple of years. <clears throat> um, How bad I, was it? Really bad. I couldn't even sleep. And no matter what pillow I had, like, you know, um, the best pillow I got it from the shops. Like, and I, I couldn't sleep. It was really bad. I had to toss and turn over all night. Mm, but last year, um, I went to show seen her, and I said, oh, she said, hi, how are you? I said, oh, I'm not really well, my father, very bad pain, and the doctor told me I've got spondylitis. Um, oh, she said, oh, I should have called you to this session. We had a session at um, somewhere south side, a retreat. I said, oh, why did you ask me? I was home today. And she said to me, uh, wait, 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 I probably can get that brother, um, Brother Johnson, um, on the phone. And I said, oh, okay. So she said, she called straight away, Brother Johnson. And um, she got him straight away. She said, oh, I don't think I'm going to get him, but I'll just try. And she got him on the phone anyway. And Cheryl explained. Uh, my issues, and she said, oh, don't worry, forget it. Just show, she told Cheryl to put her hand over her and say it after me. And just repeated what Brother Johnson said. And then I said to 
Father, thank you. He said, oh, I'm not father, I'm brother Johnson. I'm father of two children, I said. <laughs> <laughs> I am father, but father of two children. Yeah, I'm not pleased. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then he said thank you, and then went home, and then the doctor told me to go and have some physios. And I said, refuse to have physios. I said, no, I just believe in God. I said, God is my doctor, God is my physio, God is my strength, God is my everything. So after a couple of weeks, it was the pain was gone. Like after praying, you know, after having that praying, after a couple of weeks, the pain was all gone, and I could have the best sleep. And it does not come back again. It's all gone. And I never went to the physio or you know the doctor back again. I haven't. Okay, now, now the healing has you got your healing. Yes. Why did you come then today? Um, to get more, just to tell my, mm, just to testify what I had done. Oh, you came only for the test? Oh, no, I just came for, just to see how our people are out there. Just to can see more. Oh, but, so you can receive more of the truths? Yes. And grow more, grow more and become a champion and become a warrior. Come yes, on, come yes. on, come on. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise God. So are we here to become a champion? A warrior? So when we come back, we will have a powerful anointing. I promise you. Okay? Because even if we start, I cannot stop. Praise God. So, when your expectation or your desire is to the peak, then it becomes easy for you to tap into that anointing and experience. But if you're waiting for the anointing to come without a desire or without the expectation, it won't happen. Expectation is the breeding ground for miracles. So the more and more expectation you have through the promise of God, it begins to breed in you different kinds of miracles. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So shall we have the closing prayer in 4.30 we have to wind up? Yeah. yeah? yeah. Can we just close our eyes? Anybody wants to share a testimony before we close down? Yeah. Yes, come close to me. Well, last September, it was just by, I guess, a miracle that I came. A friend of mine, we'd been to a funeral, and she just happened to say she was going to a healing service that evening. I said, oh, well, can I come? So I knew nothing about Brother Johnson or his ministry. And when he um, announced for people with um, food allergies to come forward, I did. And I, I have I've been healed. I still say the prayer periodically. Um, I'm now just slowly introducing more foods that I wasn't able to eat. And I've come this time because I feel there's so much more to learn, so much more healing I need. And then yesterday to have the unexpected healing of my hearing. Um, yeah, so I'm very, very thankful. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. So how many of you got food allergy? If you got food allergy, come quickly. This is the time for your freedom. Anybody who has got food allergy? Come quickly. Anybody who has got food allergy? Any kind of food allergy or any kind of allergy? I'm not talking about only food. I'm talking about any kind of allergy. Come, come, come.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, now listen, now listen. <coughs> the Spirit of God is a Spirit of liberty. Do you believe that? Just give me 2 Corinthians 3 16, please. Quickly. Look at the 360. KJV. Please turn around and read it. Nevertheless, when you shall turn to the Lord, the way you shall be taken away. 17. When I said all those who want to be free from allergy, come on and come quickly. The moment you made the decision to get up from your seat and walk, it is because you believed. If you had not believed, you wouldn't have gone up. Is that right? Yes. Now the put at 16 1. The Bible says when a person turns to the Lord. When the person turns to the Lord. Now what did you do? You said, Lord, I cannot get freedom from this energy. I am turning this energy into your hands. The moment you said that, by walking out, the way that has been blocking you from receiving your miracle, the Lord has, the Lord shall, the way shall be. So the energy shall be. And now, now when you believe, the Lord says, now the Lord is the spirit of now the Lord is the Spirit, and when the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Are you ready? Yes. Hold hands. Close your eyes. And say this. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I, thank you for your word I thank you for your word that came out of this man's mouth. I believe your written word. Lord Jesus, you are the, you are the Savior. Lord, the, Lord, the Lord and my God. And my God. There, is nothing impossible to you. there is nothing impossible to you. I believe your word, I believe your word. and I turn myself to you. The way of allergy and every other infirmity right now is destroyed, is destroyed and taken away from my life. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, your spirit, your spirit is, the Lord, is the Lord, and wherever the Spirit of God is, is there is freedom. In the name of Jesus, I speak to every energy in, in my body, in my family, in, my family. in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. I, curse I curse you, I rebuke you, and I cast you out. Of my, of my body. When God, when God created, all things, created all things, He said, he said it, is it is good. When God has said it is good, it can never be bad to me. So whatever was creating, bad in my system, bad in my stomach, in the name of Jesus, it is destroyed, from the root, from the root. And, I and I declare all that God has called it is good it is good to me I am free from every allergy I am set free in Jesus' name open your eyes now I am going to ask you to do something very foolish when I say <coughs> blow you blow the air out as far as you can with a jerk. And when you're doing it, I'm going to ask you to do it three times. When you're doing it, you believe you're not blowing air, you're blowing your energy out by faith. Will you, are you ready to do this foolish thing? Yes. And if you want to hold the energy, go and eat after this break. Eat as much as you want. There will be no energy. Because you are doing it by 
faith. Is your spirit strong? Yes. Will it kill that energy? Yes. Praise God. In the name of Jesus, energy, you get out of my body. Now. In Jesus' name. Now blow as hard as you can. One. Again. Last time. In Jesus' name. I'm set free. Amen. Amen. How many of you got it? What food do you want? Uh, Celia. What's that? Wheat, wheat. Bread. Bread, is, bread comes under Celia? Yeah. Yes. Okay. What about you? Chili. Chili we won't have now. <laughs> Don't look at her. Don't look at her. Don't look at her. She's got chili as an energy. But you're not eating. Do you have chili? Yeah, practically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you get. Do we have chili in the kitchen? Uh, no, no. no, no. Uh, what allergy? Food allergy? Yes, what? What? Wheat. Ah, so bread. Berries. 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 Anybody having berries? No. No. Okay. Chocolate. Ah, that we are plenty. All of them. We we put all of them. Then. My daughter is correct with milk. Milk. Milk, milk. 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 we got it. Bread. Bread. Um, late onions, cabbages. Onions we have? No. No, we will we'll find it. Milk. Milk. Lobster. Lobster. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the lobster? This is Where smart. We better get the lobster. You are very smart. <laughs> what about wrong? Thank you, we praise you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.